Sakpase YouTube, my name is Edgy and in today's video, the topic is how to make money as a notary public. If you're interested in becoming a notary public, the first thing you're thinking about, how I'm gonna make money doing this. Honestly, a lot of notary publics, they only offer one of these services, they only focus on one, and then they do these other services on the side. I'm gonna start with the most obvious one, it is when you offer general notary work. That is the most basic form of making money when you're a notary public. You just charge your state fee. Every state fee is different depending on what state you're in. Florida charges $10. Some other states charge five. You know, it varies. That is the most basic form of making money. Now, the next way you can make money is doing mobile notary work. Especially when you just start off, you don't have an office, most likely you have a car. If somebody calls you, you have to go to that person. So automatically, once you travel to that person, you're offering mobile notary work. If you don't have an office and you're traveling to that client directly, either you're going to their business or you're going to their house, you have to charge a travel fee. And that travel fee is separate from the main fee that you charge. A lot of notaries charge $20, $25, $40, even $50 sometimes to go to a client's house. And on top of that $50, they charge their fee to notarize the document. If your state fee is $10, plus you could charge $40 for the travel fee, that's $50 right there. That's how a lot of mobile notaries make their money. If you're going to the client, you could charge that extra buck. The next way to make money is to do loan documents. I know this is the most popular one. It's all over the internet. You have to get that extra training to do loan documents. You can go to nationalnotary.org, pay money and get that extra training to become a loan signing agent so you could know how to do loan documents. Now, when you're doing loan documents, you could charge a lot of money because remember those are big loan packages it has like over 100 pages so you're gonna be charging at least 150 dollars now if you're getting a client from a signing service a signing company you're gonna share that fee with the signing company regardless if you share the fee you're still gonna be making hundred dollars and the signing company get the other half the next way you can make money and this is my favorite way is being a remote online notary when you're a remote online notary, you're just notarizing documents online. You're gonna be using a platform to notarize the document. And this is my favorite way because that's the way that I'm currently making money right now. A lot of platforms offer to give you free clients. Right now, the platform that I'm using is Notarize. I just log into the computer and I get clients like automatically on autopilot. That's not always the case, it just depends on what company you partner up with. Some companies, you have to get the clients on your own. If you're state approved of it, look into becoming a remote online notary. You can make $2,000 to $4,000 a month just by doing that service alone. The fifth way to make money as a notary public is to perform marriages. Not every state can do it. I think they only allow four states to perform marriages. First, you can marry people in Nevada, South Carolina, Florida, and Maine. But there is a way that you can still do that, okay? But I can't really go into that in the video because I want to stay on topic. So I'm not really gonna talk about that. If your state allows you to do it, that is a great way to make money as a notary public. Especially me, I would love to do it. Performing marriages could be very lucrative. You're gonna charge them the fee to solemnize their marriage. You're gonna charge them a travel fee. You could partner up with people that are already in the wedding industry and offer them even more services and within that same wedding industry. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. The other service that you can offer is apostille services. Sometimes they also call it apostille. A lot of notaries are confused. They think that they're the one that's gonna do the apostille, which is not true. When you are offering an apostille service, you have to send the document to the Secretary of State and they don't want to have to do the apostille. Your job as a notary is to first make sure if the document can get notarized. Sometimes you have to notarize it and sometimes you don't. The second step is to send it to the Secretary of State and then the Secretary of State will perform the apostille and then they will send the document back to you. Then you give the document to your client. You're just gonna be the middleman Either you can drive there or you can send it by mail. 
sometimes you have to translate the document. It just depends on the country of origin or it depends on which country you're gonna send the document to. Now that is a whole different thing. I already took like two different courses when it came to Apostille. It could be very easy or it could be complicated, but it is a service that you can offer when you are a notary public. And it could be very lucrative because to do one Apostille, you can charge $150. All of the Apostille companies, that's what they do. They're not the ones that's doing the Apostille, they're just the middleman. The other service you can offer is fingerprinting. Offering finger, fingerprinting by itself, there's a lot of people, they're making $10,000, $5,000 a month by just doing fingerprinting services. It's a very popular service. You can offer that service by itself and not offer anything else. It's gonna allow you to, to live comfortable. <laughs> Make sure to take training. There is something you have to buy to do the service, right? A lot of companies, they have to hire people and then when they hire people, they need to do the fingerprinting. It's like something that's very essential, something that is mandatory. Now, a bonus service that I wanna talk about is field inspection. That's the only service that I'm not really too familiar with, but I've heard other notaries talk about it. I haven't researched so much about it. If you don't find any work anywhere else, you can do it. You could start making some good money. If you look online, it says that field inspectors are the eyes and ears of a company that needs something done. Inspectors are broken down into three major categories, mortgage, insurance, and commercial inspectors. It says that field inspectors travel to property locations to document the state of the property or to verify facts about it. A lot of time, field inspectors, they're hired by companies just to take pictures and make sure that everything is good, all right? Also do your research and then you could offer that as a service. Yeah, but that's about it, guys. These are the different services you can offer when you're a notary public. If you have any questions, leave me a message. I try my best to answer every question. If you have one more service in mind, make sure to leave it in the comments so you can let us know. My name is Edgy, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.